What's up, everyone? How you guys doing? Uh, here, enjoying myself on a nice Sunday evening over here in Puerto Rico. Uh, you can hear in the background uh, Craptor. Uh, uh, trash band from Venezuela. They're really rocking it. Uh, I can't. I don't get tired of the music, really. Uh, today is going to be a different stream from the other ones that I usually make. Today I'm going away, far away from classic gaming, just for a little bit, to enjoy this juggernaut, this big, humongous game that is Star Citizen. Of course, I'm a backer. I have been a backer since November of 2000... I even forgot, but I don't know. Uh, the thing is that I'm a backer and I'm really looking forward to this game because this game is extremely, extremely badass to the core. I'm looking forward to all the things. I know there's a lot of there's a lot of fear. There's a lot of hating going on lately with this because you know many say it's never gonna come out. That is too ambitious for its own good. I, on the other hand, I I try to stay away from all this hateful stuff related to video games because we got enough of that shit going on in our real lives every single day. So I try to stay away from that. No fanboyism, no none of that none of that stuff. I, I I don't entertain myself with none of that crap. That being said, the concerns are really based in reality. This game exploded ever since it started. And with all the features and stuff that Mr. Roberts are trying to implement into the game, of course it's normal that anybody would worry if this is actually gonna come out or not. I my position is the following. As a backer, as a gamer, as somebody who's looking forward to this, I wish him and his teams, teams, because there are many teams working on this, the best of luck. I hope it comes out soon. I hope I live to see it out and, and doing well. Because it's a really, I think it's Mr. Roberts, Mr. Chris Roberts' uh, lifelong dream. And I would like to see him, personally, I would like to see him realize this this dream. But for now, let's forget about the politics of video games and stuff like that. Because, like I said, it's a Sunday. And basically, this is just a mess around with the alpha build that we backers get to mess around with from time to time and get some updates and stuff. So I'm just going to be playing here and just wanted to share this with uh, some of the people who would like to see it. And don't necessarily want to see a YouTube video on it. So you can join whenever you want and, you know, or just watch as I go and geek out for today in something not retro, much more futuristic. And then I'll go back with my batteries and charge and do the classic game that you guys know me for. So without further ado, let's, let's get this rolling in here. Already, I'm already into the menu. I don't want to take out the music completely, so I'll probably let it play there in the background a little bit. Feel like I have some company there, and yeah, let's go for it. Come on, let me get this stuff. All right, so this basically right here is my alternate hanger. I have another one which is a futuristic one. I can't remember the names. I didn't bother to make lists of names and stuff like that. For that, you gotta forgive me. I ask of you to forgive me. This is my my beautiful Avenger ship. I love this ship and I was for many many months doing exactly this watching the ship because I didn't I didn't we didn't have a chance to actually play it but that's in the past what I'm gonna do is go and try to see if the servers are not too full so you guys can see the actual hub or the social hub where we are all supposed to. It's kind of like a, a taste of what's to come. It's called R-Core. 
yeah, if I don't get kicked out, you get to see this with me. Oh! Alrighty, got booted out. Black bar. Why do I have a black bar on my on my cat? Here we go. Oh, that's right. Oh, what are you doing? Chill here for a second. Should be better than Hopefully, if not, not much we can do about that. All right, let's go. Let's try that one more time and see if we can. Log into that, but it's not. I still came prepared, so don't worry. What I am gonna do, or should do, um, I think, yeah, I'm gonna get booted out because the machine didn't do any. Yeah, servers are too full. Yada yada yada. Just to tell me that I got kicked out. Fantastic. Thank you very much. But it's okay. Like I said, I came prepared. Because I knew this could happen. Yesterday, for whatever reason, it seemed that yesterday was pretty much empty. That I got a chance to go out and, and mess around. And I took some footage. As soon as this comes out of the loading part, I just pause it there for a second. And of course I'm going to pause the music as well because I'm going to save this awesome music for when I go into the actual dogfights. Now, let's take off. Take off the capture for a second. And let me get something here for you guys to watch. here for a second. Mm, 
not wrong. see this This is basically right here. This is uh, check it out full screen. All right. This is basically what you encounter when you go in. For the first time, kind of like a chicken part. Of course, the capture is a uh, much, more, much more lower resolution. It's a nice little hub world, kind of to give you the, the, the feeling of what to expect when. It's fully populated in the persistent universe. See this. Okay, much rather have it there. Yeah. No. A little weapon shop, nice little sign to welcome you. But of course, everything is pretty much empty. I think it's pretty much empty because, you know, it's it's basically an, an, an alpha build, and this is just a test. These features will start getting more and more advanced. Now here I'm in the third person perspective. Which I'm guessing when you switch out from the from the spaceships and you go into first person shooting and stuff, you'll be going back back and forth between third person perspective and first person this is the medical bay and you get to see a few of the, the people wandering around just like me not too many of them well I'm not sure if those are actual people or simply AI bots that the module has you know just to populate it a little bit this guy doesn't seem like an AI though this guy seems like he was <laughs> I don't know, but everything, everything is so freaking detailed. Got a bar with music and no people. And if you can, if you hear some barking noise in the background, that's, uh, that's my dog race has this incredible ability of recognizing when I'm gonna do a stream so he can start or she can start barking. Uncanny ability really. So 
So yeah, not much to see here. Now this I wanted to present it to you guys you know, live, but apparently the servers are just too full. There's some more areas to explore. I just showed off just a little bit. I see the, the ships flying and stuff. So let's get into the nitty gritty of the whole thing. Let's get into the actual game, which is why you are here and why I am here as well. So. Let's go back to it. Okay. Uh, see now the modes that we have for play are right here through electronic uh, access. Which is kind of like a little module so you don't have to bother yourself with going walking from one place to another you just find it everything in one place now star marine as you can see here which is blacked out star marine is not ready yet it was supposed to come out these past few months but um mr roberts and the teams have, have been saying that they they, they kind of ran into a snag or two and haven't been able to provide that uh this part for us which is a first person shooting module where we get to test the fighting outside of the ships but for the time being we have this I, I'm not in a hurry as long as it comes out really good I'm not in a hurry take your time Mr. Roberts and the teams of course especially the teams now here from Arena Commander is where you get to do all the fun stuff you get to do basic flight training which I'll probably show you guys a little bit of that before I go I don't plan on staying too long um, we got the spectrum match which is basically the multiplayer with the rest of the backers and we have the drone sim where you get to do free flight and you know to test the controls it's very good to go once in a while if you haven't played just to go and get a feeling for the controls because there's a lot to control in this game I'm gonna be using a controller hopefully from here to when the game releases I'll have a flight stick because I need to experience this with a flight stick but for the meantime you know, using a regular PlayStation 3 controller with uh, with the software what's the software called I keep forgetting uh, motion joy yeah you said using it with motion joy and it works perfectly but um, yeah, so let's go into drone, drone sim. From here you can choose, like I said, a free flight, where you can just fly around in two stages, because they only have two stages for you to fly in for now. I have the nice little thing here, which is two more ships that I get to try for a limited time, because the more you make in the multiplayer part, the more you play you earn credits but special kind of credits which go towards uh, if you want to try out stuff you get to sort of like quote unquote rent stuff gear ships weapons stuff like that and basically I had a certain amount of credits and I used them to try out these two ships um, you got the free flight and then you got the Vandom swarm which is basically uh, you fighting against waves of AI ships very good to practice before you go into multiplayer you should go in here and get your bearings because I tried it yesterday going into multiplayer oh boy I got I got my world rocked really bad because there's some really good players already there and this game is not even done besides that you got even racing which is even more confusing I love it the graphics are awesome but it's really confusing for me at least um, because you feel like the racetracks don't have any barriers so you can get lost really quick if you don't maneuver your ship uh, like a pro but you're gonna get a, a taste of that as well so I guess the first thing would be going in for a little round of Vandal Swarm and let's do it on the the equivalent of the daytime stage because they got like day and night 
for you to choose from. I'll just go here, fight a wave or two, because this can take a long time if you're not a pro and the waves start getting bigger and 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 more complex. So it could take a while. And I don't wanna I don't wanna do the whole stream with only this. I wanna show you different kinds of modes so you can get a better understanding of what in the beginning all we had was a hanger the hangar and our ship the ship that you pledge if you sh if you pledge for um, one ship well that's basically that's what you get in my case yeah I got the Avenger because I only pledge I only pledge about $75 yeah it always does that in the beginning so this is my beautiful Avenger ship I love it I love this ship so much this is awesome. I mean, in the looks department, it doesn't compare to the the Merlin that you're going to see in a little while. And even the Mustang, but I don't care. I love this ship. Now, let's see where uh, where's our first victim. All right, there we go. Don't worry, I got your back. Get over here. Got a missile lock on you? Already? You ain't getting away from me. Damn, but I sent all my all four of my missiles in there. It's the closest one I got. A thousand five hundred. Am I coupled or not? Oh shit. Where'd that come from? Oh okay. Come on, you're supposed to match the speed. That is going on. Inertia.
and I still don't get why. Warning. You are approaching simulation boundary. Yeah, I noticed that. Hostile destroyed. Oh crap. I died with the wall of the world. Stand by for reintegration. Spectating. Oh, actually, no. I'm gonna go mess around with. I'm gonna go mess around with uh, another ship. Now, the thing about maneuvering in this game, it's the, the amount of detail and thought and, and science put into the control of these ships is freaking staggering. I mean, you gotta take into account so many things that you don't have to necessarily worry about in, the, in a regular arcade shooter or something like that. They take physics here very, very seriously. So while using a controller, you have to worry about things like coupling and decoupling the axis on the on your ship. Which, if you decouple, you have more maneuver maneuverability. But if you you lose, uh, you get into a trouble with momentum. So let's say you're flying in a straight path and you're going like top speed. If you decouple you have more maneuvering options and it's quicker to maneuver however you're gonna fall into this uh, how can we call that you won't be able to like break on time and stuff because you're gonna it's it's, it's very hard to explain I'll, I'll try to show it to you guys but Let's see, let's go back to bot and I'm so I don't know why they didn't give me broken they gave me the dying star instead of Whatever. Let me try so you guys can see the None of these for whatever reason have any missiles or none that I can find. So these are basically just you have like two weapons on it. One's like a really quick laser and the other one is a slower but charging uh, laser to the sable I guess but physically aesthetically these oh my god they they have gotten they ramped it up in the design these this past year year and a half designing the ships okay, I'm not complaining about my Avenger because I still love my ship and it's pretty maneuverable and it's uh, it has some pretty good weapons standard of course, all of this you can upgrade, or you're supposed to be able to upgrade, you know, purchasing stu uh, weapons and stuff, but out of the box, at least mine has missiles. Now, here we are. Uh, this, you guys already saw my ship. Check this one out. Look at this. Look at this, ooh boy. That looks like a really awesome hunting knife. Now let's, let's drop the speed and see where our enemies are. There they are. You know I'm gonna get you. Okay, 
I got one right here. See ya. Oh, no collision, no collision, please. Holy crap. Gotta take it easy with a throttle. This thing is super fast. It's not a very intelligent way to play, but you can still get your kicks out of it. Yeah. Woohoo! Come and get it, baby. Come and get it. Let's get serious here. the power levels of the weapons I'm guessing that some ships take more shots than others I'm guessing that this one doesn't have much firepower which you need to keep wailing on them until you chip away their your shields and stuff and then see that's wave wave 2 coming in now Got one on my radar. Let's see, I got this one. Whoa! Whoa! Shit! Get out of there! Get out of there quick! It's a problem with this ship. This ship is so damn fast. I almost hit the wall. Match the speed. I think 
gotcha. I gotcha. I gotcha. Got somebody on my tail. And I got one hostile right here. That's your problem. Holy crap. Got somebody firing on me too. Jesus, how much I gotta shoot this guy? Oh, you're trying to take me to the rock side, crash to the rock. Man, that's not gonna work. to the shields. Oh! Missile fire. Went right through my right side. Oh shit, I got somebody in my back. Gotcha, bitch. Nice. Now, who was the one shooting at my back? There you go. Gonna pay for that. Oof. I'm decoupled. Fuck you up real quick. Real quick. Fire. I know you're trying to take me to the rocky rocky part of it to try to maneuver me into the rocks that actually ain't gonna happen Three of them on me. Check the other view. Oh, you must. 
hostage. Get these two. I'm getting hit too. Quit out of this one so you guys can see the other ship. I know for a fact that once the final game is out and those of us who've played other of his games know that like for example Wing Commander it has his own feel to it and this kind of feels like Wing Commander in the battles a much more detailed Wing Commander at that but that's basically how it feels like but with all the other weapons and, and different classes and stuff like wait a second let me see if I can show you guys a hologram I don't know if it's here ah that's my little showcase for the model ships that one the Mustang Alpha that's the one I'm going to show you guys next now where was that thing I knew where it was. Oh, there it goes. Kind of like a. No, no, wait. This is the simulator. I don't want to use a simulator. What I want to use. Could they have moved it upstairs, maybe? Yeah. Change from the other hangar that I was using. I had more like a clean and futuristic look. This one is more like. Looks a lot more like Star Wars cross with Halo universe kind of stuff where it's more like dirty and used in and doesn't look as high tech but it's more like war torn. A lot of detail, a lot of detail in this. Let's see, I can walk around the scaffold. Where is this? Never been up here. Pretty dark though. I don't know if you have any lights that you can switch on and off. Oh wait, I can walk. I can also do the third person so you can see it in third person. I look for a little hologram the hologram you get to change oh shit don't tell me I can't oh I can't come down from here isn't this nice okay I gotta walk all the way back ain't for real you gonna let me use the elevator bro the elevator no? No? can I jump without getting killed let's see what happens no, I can't jump from here. Uh, all right. Ah, I can't go down from here. Now there's this holographic machine where you can hook up 
all the weapons and stuff to your ship. It's just that since I recently changed the style from my hangar, I knew where it was in the other one, I just don't know where it is here. But with all the changes, they might have even taken it out altogether. Because I don't see it around here. Oh wait, I haven't, I haven't done a walk in to the ship. I just want to do that right here, right now. Watch your step, sir. Going in, going in. A bit more darker than I remember it. I guess it must be because of the lighting in the hangar. My pilot ship. <laughs> And there you go, you can geek out from here. Let's get out of here. Let's go into... Let me show you one of the races. I wonder if you can race with another... Oh yeah, I can. Hmm. Now should I race with a... I'm gonna try and race with the Alpha. Lap count three. Since we're gonna keep this short. Oh. I'm guessing this is different dif difficulties. Let me try that because I'm a masochist. So I'm going to go for the hardest one. If I start flipping or if I start getting out of the track, you know. Don't laugh. Well, yeah, laugh. Because it, it, it is going to happen. So this is Star Citizen meets Wipeout. Come on, I'm ready, I'm ready. I felt for that shit again. Damn. No restart here. I'm fucked. Couple back to fucking. Alright. Jesus. Oh my god. Okay, stop, 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 stop. Now I have to go that way. But that way where? No. Let's try it out of the ship. Oh shit, I messed it up already. Fuck it, let's start it again. Damn. 
Man, it's messed up. I messed up my ship. Oh, there's a... There's a checkpoint. Poor little Mustang. I messed it up. Ah, there's the other one. to race race to win yeah once I get a little practice I can talk about winning not now though shit is crazy checkpoint yeah checkpoint where wait a second wait a second where was it? I missed another freaking checkpoint. See? See what I mean? I'm guessing it has to be around here. Okay, it says the arrows are pointing towards that way. Okay, it's going this way. What is it? Alright. Let's keep going and see if I eventually find that. Oh, could it be this? No, that one is closed. Holy crap. <clears throat> okay, I'm seeing a lot. Let me, let me reduce. I am way, way out of the, the track layout. Because this can't be it. Wrong direction. Yeah, I figured that much. But at least I'll give you guys some idea on how, how badass does this look. Look at these graphics. But I have no fucking clue the direction of where I'm supposed to go. I'm telling you this is crazy. Alright. Let's go back. take off I wanted to do that before I should have done it take off the chat I'm gonna be using that much anyway let's take off the chat yeah all right so now go back in I'm gonna say it once. I will get my ass whipped. So don't expect some hardcore amazing skills because it ain't gonna happen. Not yet, yet, at least. I can't set up a, a private match because I don't have any friends to invite yet. So yeah, I gotta go out in the wilderness get all messed up you got battle royale you have the classic race which i was cooperative vandal swarm that would be nice but it's the same old waves and waves of enemies and squadron battle that's the shit This one, hmm, you gotta reach a target score, but 
How about this one? Let's try this one out. I didn't choose a ship. It's okay. I gotta get used to using my Avenger anyways. Hate Fury. Crimson. No 
targets here. It's not too few players. Okay, I'm getting the fuck out. Let's try another mode. Damn, I'm getting more. I'm getting more loading screens than actual gameplay. Check real quick something. All right, let's go back. Squadron battle has too few. Now let's try battle royale. And yes, I can use the Mustang, but the Mustang doesn't have any missiles. Fuck it, I'm gonna try my own. Leave me with the with the Avenger. All right. screen I think now is the absolute best time for me to put some music on because all this silence is driving me nuts It'll probably pump me up for the for the fight give me my music give me my music give me my music Shield, shield down, fuck! Damn, somebody already fucked up my missiles? You're shitting me. Come on. 
Holy shit! Basically, I'm gonna end the video with showing you guys one of the latest things that they incorporated, which is. Let me turn down the music. It's gonna run up. Guys, gonna wanna hear what they have to say on this because it's kind of like the basic training and stuff. Pretty cool. You get to try basic maneuvers, combat, landing, advanced maneuvers, advanced combat. And I'm be I'm gonna be spending at least when it, it comes time to closer to the release, cause right now it's gonna take it's still gonna take a long time before it comes out. You can bet your ass I'm gonna be spending a lot of time in these. Let's try one on. Let's try doing the advanced maneuvers or advanced combat how about we do that into training to survive the surprise encounter learn more advanced fight flight maneuvers in this high speed race through an asteroid field oh nice let's try basic combat
seem to be able to handle your ship, so let's see if you can handle a bit of combat. Sure looks nice. I'm waiting, Brook. Give me attitude, motherfucker. Fuck you were. Ah, oh, Jesus. Why am I in basic flight? Okay, that's coming back. All right. Hope this one is in space. here. whatsoever. Mm-mm. Should have started with the basic. So basically, I gotta get to this guy first. And the map puts him very far away, unreachable for me. Where the hell am I supposed to go? The first time I tried it out, he was standing right there next to me. I don't know what happened now. There he goes. I'm right waiting, there. Brooke. I'm Lucas Baravsko, but everyone knows me as Gilly. I've served in six squadrons and qualified on almost a dozen ships. So if you put in the time, I'll get you on the path to dogfighting with the best of them. We're going to set you up in the ship on the landing pad to your right. 
Hustle over, let's get going. Move it, move it, move it! Can't wait. <coughs> Ready? I'm enabling your systems. We'll monitor your progress from up here. Forward, hold right shoulder button. Jesus. Jesus. Okay. Left trigger plus. Okay.
Don't open the doors once you're lined up. Watch it, rookie. Fuck is a oh my god, I made a mess. Okay, go for it and okay, okay, okay. Where's the fucking door? And if I knew this shit before, I wouldn't be in this mess right now. No, I can't roll. Doors open. Basically, that's gonna be all for today because it's been going on for a long time already. As as this keeps on developing, I'll keep doing more updates on the alpha build uh, for whoever gets to watch. If you guys watch this on YouTube, be sure to like and, and follow the channel and follow the stream so i'm gonna leave you guys hope you have a wonderful sunday and see you guys next week with uh playstation week that's ongoing so tuesday we'll probably have fight night not probably we will have fight night on tuesday and then wednesday we'll go back to playstation week so you guys take care and have a good one see you guys